hello, this is Beth. Um, the inch, the very beginning of the favorites went away along with all the full moon readings. So it's take two time. But basically, if, what I said in the stuff that went away was that I'd been mulling over doing favorites for a while. And just kept thinking about it and this month I finally decided to act upon doing favorites. I have my, um, I feel a little bit stabbity today t-shirt on since this is take two for a lot of things about a half hour's worth of filming. <sighs> it's okay though. So, 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 so. Favorites. Um, it starts out with the Holly Simple Tarot. That very beginning part of it got cut off and it just goes directly to the book. So Holly Simple, reaching for it a lot right now. And that's like the real little mini new intro into favorites. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up doing it monthly, bi-monthly, tri-monthly. I don't know. I just feel like I do the favorites at the end of the year for like decks and art supplies, but nothing in between then really gets captured. And I want to show more what I'm using in between. Well, you know, in between ends of years. So, alrighty. Enjoy, and you guys have a great day. I feel like I'm ending, even though this is the beginning of something. Alrighty. Bye. So the book is a big book. It's not a little white book, and it's not trite. Here's an example of one of it. A couple of the pages. So you're getting her drawings, her little thoughts, her thoughts on the cards and how she interpreted them in her deck. The book is really awesome. And I also find I reach for this handbook when I just want a quickie, when I just want to check a meaning or a feeling I have about something. And I'm not even using this deck. So I'm reaching for the guidebook for this tarot deck for other decks. That's how much I like the book. But there's the back, very colorful back. And she's just kind of got a sensibility I really adore. And really right now, oops, as I threw the cards on the floor. This is a deck that um, I'm kind of restraining myself from using all the time, and I do mean all the time. Fun, fun, beautiful deck. I love the strength card. Just love that kind of heart ruffle thing. Just, ooh. Trust your heart. Really brings that home. Is that upside down? No, if it's upside down. Oh. Yeah. Eh, 11. Yeah, okay. Roman new it does have Roman numerals. So if you're Roman numeral challenged like I am, sometimes it can be a little challenging. You're like, I don't know what it is. It's crazy. But this is probably the number one to I like this one. I like them all. And the tower is a really awesome one too. Great deck. So if you're looking for something that's very different that's kind of right or weight, but not really. At least the imagery is not very right or weight for the most part. Um, it's a great deck. I would highly recommend it. And I find myself reaching for it over and over right now to the point where it's, I want to use it all the time. So if you're looking for a unique deck, Holly Simple Terrell, one of my favorite things right now. Um, another card favorite thing is I've been on this affirmation card kick and I can't show the other two right now because they're for friends. But this is the first deck I made um, for myself. Uh, words are a little small, but overall I really like the affirmation deck I made for myself. I've been using it for the moon readings now and a couple other places. I've been throwing them into client readings too. Which if you're interested in booking a reading with me, go to the website link and 
you can book one. But I started throwing um, an affirmation card in at the end of each reading, just as well I have them. But I started making them with the words a little bit bigger. And the back, they're just kind of more simple. I think it's interesting. Yeah, because these, I don't think I used the prangs on this. Um, the praying watercolors. When you put, where's the, here's salt. Put salt on the back. This is not a praying, well, I don't think this is praying. No, it's not. This is um, the, a mixture of core, Golden's core watercolors and um, I'm on Daniel Smith. Those little things, that's salt. That's from salt. Salt creates a very distinctive design. But the praying watercolors with salt react so beautifully. It's just like, ooh, my god. That. So, my homemade affirmation cards are also something I have been totally grooving on. And I've been processing the um, Walking the World's Class chakra expansion through making um, cards for it, which will also I'll use them some other ways. But um, let me order them. How? Stick on. Okay. Let's see, I didn't use. So you definitely on this card kick of creating cards for things and affirmation cards and bringing, using that to bring in energies for the chakra expansion <coughs> class, walking the world's chakra expansion class in the Norden group. Um, I'll leave the Norden group link below if you're interested in the class. We're working our way through the um, underworld, upper world, middle world, that went out of order, using the chakras from zero, the earth star, on up to the celestial. It's gonna be fun. So sign up below. I'll leave a link. Link, link, link. Oh my goodness, what, Wilhelmina? Yeah, life is hard when you're a kitty. She needs a nap. Yeah, nap time for kitties. Another thing I am grooving on, um, I've been a fan of RJ Stewart's writing for a very long time. I have more than one of his books. I've read them, a couple of them several times. Um, this is Underworld Initiation, A Journey Towards Psychic Transformation. This also has the picture of, where is it? It has the picture that, it's hiding. There are you. Um, that spurred the Walking the World's Chakra Expansion class. Where's she there? It's, they're totally hiding. Oh, well. Oh my goodness. Kitty cats are sad. Oh, there she's there. But um, I've never actually sat down and read the whole book. I've read bits and pieces of this book. And I decided it was time for me to actually sit down and read the whole thing. Really interesting. R.J. Stewart is a wealth of information, period, no matter what you buy. Um, this one you do have to deal with a bit of ranting, actually more than a bit in the first chapter or so, um, about um, psych psychology and such, the psychological versus the magical. Um, he's very much not a proponent of using psychological models as magical ones. Not that he's saying like therapy is bad. He's just that to only see magical things within that context is not necessarily how the systems are meant to be worked with. Blah, blah, blah. It's a really good book. It also goes into um, using folklore and things like that, how to use, how that is the base of a Western magical tradition with oral traditions and things like that. It also, one thing I really like about R.J. Stewart's work is it helps you see what, <coughs> what magical items are showing up in folk music 
and older traditions and it also mm, two cats hold just making sure there wasn't going to be a cat fight with the young cat who is new and my cat who was old and we've had for a few years now but back to rj stewart he really um his main thing he's a musician a path worker as it were my words not his and he uses songs to and poetry and traditions things like that that is what he bases his work on um it's, such as Thomas the Rhymer is on um, Tam Lin. The Leaves of Light is another one in this book. It, he also teaches you how to see, at least for me, what he has really done is um, in modern music, he also teaches you to see how this tradition can still carry over with some artists. Um, Tori Amos comes to mind as one who very much creates her own mythic traditions within the traditions that are already out there. So you, you pick up on that kind of stuff and it really lets you start to work with that within your own spirituality and stuff like that. So Underworld Initiation, current book, grooving on. Um, let's see what else. I made a list because, you know, I forget these things. Mermaid markers. Oh yeah, Jane Davenport mermaid markers. If you have been thinking about buying them, they are well worth the money. Use your coupon for Michaels. Uh, Michaels, I think, is the only place in the U.S. you can get them. Um, they are pigmented. They are nice. I've been using them quite a bit. Not so much in that one. I can't show the other one. Is this? Yes, I think. So that. Now that's watercolor. Did I use them in these? Not so much in this round. <clears throat> but I find if I need a pop of something, yeah, I didn't use them very much. Um, the color here on the shadow is a reef. But I've been finding in the last decks. I did for a couple of friends, which is why I can't show you because they don't have them yet, and I don't know if they'll have them by the time this gets released. Um, is they add pops of color, and I'm hoping they come out with refills because I find that Pirates Gold Reef and Jellyfish are like the three that. I reach for over and over again. And jellyfish is kind of this paley pinky purple color. Very pretty. It's very similar to what's on <clears throat> on that. Um, and reef is kind of a plummy brown. It does this does not do it justice. And it just kind of looks blot in the tube. Very, very pretty color. It mixes very well with purples. And then pirate skull, just if you need a pop of bam, something luminous. Um, Oh wait, that's that one. Hold on. Because I got the mermaid markers about halfway through making my own deck. That yellow is pirate school. It just makes a really nice luminous brightening quality to it. Um, but I find myself, these are the three I have a feeling that are going to be used up first before the others. So I'm hoping like refills or singles happen because currently you can only buy them in a set. So basically... I'm going to look at $40 with, or, well, I use my Michael's coupon, it'll be less, but the, they run about $40. They're $39.99 without my coupon, and I used a coupon. But they are well worth the money. They are pigmented, they are nice. You can plop them down the, the aqua brushes. The tips appear, seem to be very excellent. They're responsive, they stay together well. I really like them. Wow, the sun's coming up. And it looks like partial clearing has happened. Do, do, do. What else do I have? And oddly enough, one of my favorite things right now is my circle template. I've been freaking loving this thing. It just makes circles of different sizes. And yeah, it's one of my favorite things right now silly as it seems. The circle template. Totally awesome. 
Um, I'm trying to think, am I watching TV? I don't watch a lot of TV, and we don't stream out here because it kills bandwidth. Um, really, yeah, Pirates. Actually, The Missing. I've been watching The Missing after Pirates. On, Pirates, Black Sails, technically. If I refer to Pirates, it's Black Sails on Stars. And I've been watching the rerun of The Missing, which uh, wasn't... Their first promo for it was kind of like, what the hell? I don't know. I wasn't very interested in the first time around. And I just decided to watch it after Black Sails one night because it was the first episode and kind of got hooked. It's very good. So if you get a chance to watch it on whatever, I, I do suggest it. And really the only other thing I'm watching right now is art classes, black sales, which I really like. But if you're not really into historical things and it is slightly violent, so may not be everyone's cup of tea. Very interesting. Uh, but I'm a sucker for anything historical. That and um, I've been streaming um, the Star Trek The New Generation in the mornings and remembering how much I love that show so much. But yeah, I don't watch a lot of... I tend to watch DVDs and movies and stuff like that or art classes. This is pretty much... I watch art classes like movies a lot of times and taking life book again this year and also this year I signed up for book of days through Effie Wild and I'm really liking her class I like her style I was introduced to her via life book so really that's it I, I told myself I'm going to expand out from Tamara Laporte's at Willowing's classes because I have this tendency to buy a lot of her classes because they're just fun and I like her style and her how she teaches. And this year I want to buy an Annie Hammond one and probably um, YN's um, watercolor class just because I'm watercolor obsessed at the moment. But anyways, um, that is it. For favorites, I don't know if this will be monthly or just when I feel like doing favorites. I really don't know how this is going to take shape. Um, so we'll just play it by ear. Thank you for watching. Much love. And I'll be back with something else. Um, yeah. Bye.